Captain, I've tried to equip you for this mission as well as my capabilities allow. But what I can't actually gauge is how you're going to soak up the punishment of just existing there. The isolation, the loneliness. You've got to be conscious of that, Harry. See, there'll come a time when you want to tell someone about yourself, however obliquely, however much at a tantrum. if I get close to him. Because a man kills a political in London, you come here. That's what I get for, yes. Howard Rennie was the man who interrogated the girl who hanged herself. You know why she hanged herself. The brigade wants this one, Billy. Wants it fast. It's special to them. Soldiers shoot you. On your face in the gutter and they turn you over with their boots. It's a weekend. It's a weekend in Belfast, too, not just in Whitehall, not just in London. I repeat, I have to speak to the controller of the agent. It's a matter of some critical importance. Yes, I'll tell you how important. It's in the papers that half Provoland's looking for him. Don't you tell me to calm down. What's the name? Davidson. And the number? Thank you. Get me that number, please. If it's engaged, then keep trying it. Yes, sir. They're going now. But a man who shot Henry Danby was in the Ardoin Social Club a week ago last night. He was taken in by the army. His wife was with him. She was wearing a yellow trouser suit. And he was the only one taken in by the army who was not a kid. Got all of this. Marvelous. Incredible, Harry. It's all on tape. Well, we've got a bit of a problem. It's a girl who identified me, Josephine Laverty from Clonard. It's all I've got for Trace. Now, she's the source. She knows what I'm here for, so get her out. Right, no problem. Listen, Harry, I've got to know where you are. Yeah, it, it's very unprofessional not being able to reach you. The whole thing's been unprofessional. I'll hear it on the radio. When you've nailed him, I'll get out then. Hello, Harry? Harry, can you hear me? They're going now. Now the man who shot Henry Danby was a I'll leave it back. I don't know. Late. It's night. Ah, oh, late tonight. Don't sit up. Billy Downs, 41, you please, Avenue. 
out. Have you got the time? Have the time. I'd be better off doing bloody foot patrol than this. Is down special? Nah, not special. Yeah, here's a bit more for your booth. The bear from 23. Who's doing her, Dustin? Oh, that'll please intelligence. God knows what's the point of us logging the lengths of this. The point is, we're out of the Sarge's sight. Out of bleeding rain. And out of arm's way. She's a fair looking bird, that. Come here. Oh, oh fire. Hello, Billy. Look, don't think I get any pleasure out of this, Colonel Frost. It's as unsatisfactory for me as it is for you. No, I'm not going to apologise. I've given you good information. Damn good material. You won't find me grudging the quality of that information, and you won't find me sniping at the calibre of the man who provided you with it. I doubt he deserves either of us. Now, what's the priority? You've got three priorities today, Colonel. Identify a man who was at that dance accompanied by a woman in a yellow trouser suit, and pick him up, right? Put in protective custody a girl called Josephine Laverty from Clonard. Right? Locate Harry McAvoy. Well, turn over every scrapyard tomorrow morning. Well, I know it's Sunday. Look, just do what you can, will you, Colonel Frost? I'll have a photograph of Harry with you by this afternoon. Yes, I'm sorry. I know, I know you'll do what you can. It's just a bastard, isn't it? You're too late for breakfast. It's near lunch. It doesn't matter about lunch. Is something wrong? No. No, I don't think so. Uh, is Josephine coming around? With only one guest in the house. Not until after the weekend. He was out this morning. A couple of hours. He's back there now. I'll check this, Josephine Lafferty. That's Clonard, her uncle's place, Joe O'Reilly. He's in hospital corpsing. She's back there with her mother. She'll know who Harry bloody McAvoy is. Whether he's clean, whether he's mucky. <laughs> She's been in his bed. She'll know. On a Sunday. Hello, sir. Routine or something special? Special. You turned over Ardoin Social Club last Saturday night. You pulled in a male adult who was there with a woman in a yellow trouser suit. I like the name and address of that man. There was only one man, the rest were kids. Now, this is priority. Well, that's simple enough. Freddy, that was Alpha Company, two platoon. Call up the platoon officer, get that night's log up here. Sir, you don't have any of Clonard. Uh, Clonard's with the neighbors. Fusiliers have it. I'd be grateful. Could you ask them for a trace on a Josephine Levity who lives at Clonard? Will do. It'll all take a bit of time. You'll have a drink while you're waiting. You're going to wait. Thank you. Confidential this. You, you, you didn't have a report of a man who's different uh, out of the ordinary at the club that night? Out of the ordinary? In what way? Could have been one of ours. No. None of them were different. I'll pour my own, thank you very much. Please handle the lavity matter now. Sir. Howard Rennie, Chief Inspector, 
special branch. It'll hurt them, Billy boy. Not like London, but it'll hurt them here. Hurt them so they scream. Howard Rennie, interrogator. He's a hard bastard, Billy. But then, so is you. Billy won't mess you. Take him, Billy boy. Take him good and hard. Just keeping you posted, Colonel. Still waiting for Alpha Company's log. Fusiliers in Clonard don't have a Josephine Laverty listed. Of course, if Laverty isn't the householder's name, then... Uh, can I top you? Lafferty. Friends of Josephine. Is she in? Washing her hair upstairs. What color? Huh? Get yourself into the kitchen, Mom. Make yourself a nice long cup of tea. There'll be a surprise for the girl. Seeing us all. For you. This fella, a McAvoy, that you've been going over with. Who is it? Who is it? Now, where's he come from? You know where? I want it from you. I've not much time. Who is he? You remember the loyalty to him that you should be given to us? Thank you, Mrs. The kettle's boiling.
I don't know how long I'll be you stay here. Billy Downs, 41 Ypres Avenue. Thank you. We've an observation post on Ypres Avenue. They list all movements. I have a platoon on immediate. Is he important? It's not one of our familiar names. You could say we'd like to have Mr. Downs. Negative on Downs. He's been out more than two hours. No one else is left oriented. Over. This signal, Alpha category. Immediate report needed. Repeat immediate report needed if down sighted entering Ypres Avenue. Over. Understood, sir. Immediate report in when Downs returns. Over and out. Yeah, they want Downs, so keep your eyes open. You're not going out with your bikes, not at this time of night. Ugh. Where did you put the light on the garage for Daddy? I'll do it when I finish this. Excuse me, Mrs. Rennie, is it? Yes, that's right. Put your hands behind your head. Don't shout. I know the kids are in the house. We'll go in there now. Just remember this. Try and clever and I'll kill you. You and the children. Now I'll warn you once more, so there's no misunderstandings. Any moves and you're dead. All of you. I'll be watching you all the time. So be very careful, Mrs. Now we're gonna wait. Billy Downs. And he's coming out. As soon as it's on the radio, up and away for Heathrow. When's the pickup? Oh, he's out, this Downs, out of his house. Drinking his last pipe for 20 years, no doubt. They'll lift him as soon as he's home. I knew Harry would crack it. That's the news for the moment. Our next bulletin, 7 o'clock. Now the weather forecast. The cold, unsettled weather will continue with frost overnight on high ground and showers in all areas. Next news and weather is at 10. Thanks. Thanks for the call, Colonel. Chief Constable, it's Inspector Rennie here. I thought you'd like to know, sir, we've got the name. Billy Downs, how doing? Well, I'm going home now, and they'll buzz me as soon as he's netted. Good night, sir. Go through with this. I'll get you. 
They always get them now. You'll spend the rest of your life in the cash. Waste the rest of your life. If you go now, you'll be clean away. You'll be out of here and gone before my husband's back. See you Mrs. Rennie. One more cruel killing. Senseless killing. <laughs> Won't do any good. Save it. Garage. No light. The people are sick and tired of you. Even in your own rat holes, they've had enough of you. Well, what would you know about it? They don't want you anymore living off their backs. Without your guns, you're nothing. Shut up. Without your guns, scum. Dirt. That's all you're fit for. Sitting in other people's homes with a gun. Shut your fist. You're a rat. A creeping, disease-ridden little rat. <laughs> Is that what your great movement's about? Killing people in their homes? I'll not tell you again, Mrs. told us girl about it. You wouldn't credit what he said. Said he was here for the Thornby man. It fits with a restaurant. To put a special operator in on the ground, quite separate without informing us. Hmm. Frost of intelligence said that. A London job. And that's why they made such a cock of it. What's his name? Harry McAvoy. Might not be his real name. Perhaps not. Does he work? Scrap your down, Milltown. He goes down there about eight. Take him when he's walking. Get him into the car. I don't want him killed. I just want him taken. Get him up to White Rock. I want him chatted with first. Who will lift him? Tomorrow morning, you, you. She said he was here for the Danby man? Well, she said that. And Billy Downs. Get him here for me. He's been out tonight, not called in yet. He'll be going up the Bally Murphy after. Get him here. What's it, Billy Downs in London? Get Billy Downs here. Okay, shut the bloody door. Jesus Christ. Got him. If 
every bloody thing they need. They still haven't got them. I was on an interrogation once, hooding. Killed from the turf lodge and former. They put fags out in his body, should have heard him scream. Jesus, what screaming. When they put the hood in his head, he pissed himself. Run down his leg when I shot him. You reckon this bastard McAvoy is going to be a tough one, Frankie? You reckon he'll scream? I say it should up, Seamus. If possible, you have to stay quiet. Take a lot of rest. If you're silly, if you go charging about, then there's the risk of infection. If you're sensible, you'll be fine. What are you doing here? Oh, come on. Christ, what happened to you? Did you get him? Did you get him, Rennie? Is he dead? No, he is not. What happened? His kid got in the way. His kid? Aye, his kid! And Rennie shot you. Oh, where's the telephone? Okay. Chief's waiting to see you, Billy. He's in shock. He needs sleep and rest. You'll get a look at him tomorrow. Come on, Billy. Oh, all right. If there's something he has to do, these will pull him up a bit. They'll help him for a few hours, then he'll have to rest. Who's that? Oh, God, it's you. I thought you'd gone home. <laughs> thought you might need some company. Any news? Nothing. No sighting of Downs. Could have used the back entrance home. The gang in a six regardless. They've got Harry's photograph. They're going to do the scrap yards at eight. Every one of them. <sighs> we can't trace the girl. It's pathetic. The support we're giving Harry, it's... it's pathetic. Have you had anything to eat, Mr. Davidson? You know, every day he's been there, I felt fond of him. More responsible. It's just the waiting. I passed an all-night transport cafe on the road, I'll uh, go and get some sandwiches. You worry too much, Mr. Davidson. Harry will be back in London by tomorrow lunchtime, you see. For the morning, Frankie. All right. On your way. I'll pick you up here in the morning, Billy. Have they fixed you up? I was in and out, so the doc says it's clean. On the radio, it said his brat got in the way, so as you didn't fire. She was in front of his body and his head. I couldn't see him, so I didn't fire. If you'd fired child and all, then you'd have got him. Well, there's no criticism of you, Billy. I know of no cause for criticism. But other people, people who don't know all the facts, might say that Billy Downs went soft. Oh, we're fighting we kids. Is that what you're saying? I should have shot straight through? No need to be ratty, Billy. And a chance for you to show those people who don't understand about tonight, about a kiddie getting in the way. A chance to show them Billy's not soft. What chance? The Brits have put a man in to find you. You, Billy. Find you and kill you. Now, we'll lift him this morning. 
and after we've talked with him, we'll hood him. You'll shoot him, like you shot Dan me. Like you should have shot Rennie. I've got a bullet hole. One more. After we'll slip you out to Donegal. Get the woman and kids down to you. First, one more. Anything to report on Downs? Over. Negative on Downs. No sign of him. Not through the front door anyway. Message timed at oh five four five hours. Over and out. Ready, Barney? As we'll ever be. We can't even confirm he's at home. There's a back door. HQ says we go. Well, if he's hiding under the bed, two platoons ought to find him. It's Danby. That's what they want him for. That's why it's two platoons. Mount up! Sealed. Sealed, sir. Search party. Ready, sir. Mrs. Downs. Satisfy ourselves he's not here, with the minimum of disruption to you, madam. Oh, bloody brave, aren't you? Backyard's clear, sir, and kitchen. You're through now. All these men, and one wee house, and one wee girl alone with their kids. And it takes all of you with your bloody guns and Saracens. Roof's clear, sir. You know why we want him. You know what he did. We'll go on till we get him. If we have to rip this house to pieces each week, we'll go on till we get him. Try asking him what he does with himself. What he did last month in London. Try asking the little shit. Time's in. Time to go. Oh, God, it hurts. Hey, we will rest after, boy. Aye. They did your place an hour ago, boy. They came looking for you. They wrecked your place, boy. The fellow we're going to see this morning, he'd have fingered you. 
just the missus and the kids there. And I half tore the place apart. It's down to the fellow we're going to meet. What'll I have? I'm a nice boy. Same as always. Breakfast is ready, Mr. McAvoy. All right, chime in. It's Mrs. Duncan. Have you been awake all night? <clears throat> you should have woken me. Yeah, couldn't have slept. What's happened? Nothing. Well, what about Belfast, I haven't heard from Belfast. Frost isn't called. And that means? It means they don't have downs. You've got to say to call me, wouldn't you? Hmm? Well, shouldn't you ring Colonel Frost? Well, then I'd be just a fussy old man getting in everyone's hair. No, they know what they've got to do. They'll do their best to achieve it. You be on the telephone, it's not going to help anyone, is it? I felt so helpless. You're a bloody pessimist, Mr. Davidson. The army will pick him up out of the scrapyard, and Harry will be on the phone within the hour. You wait and see. I suppose I'd get a see about breakfast, I suppose. He's in Del Rose. He'll be out in five minutes. All right, I'll mind. You run this place? I, uh, you could say that. Do you have, have a Harry McAvoy working for you? Aye. That him? Uh, could be. Well, when will he be here? Look, he's not in trouble. That's the truth. But we need him badly. Well, you have to wait, won't you? Well, it can't be much longer. Well, how long do we leave it after he goes down the street? Well, not long. On a George or so. God, all the bloody car starts. Have you done this kind of thing before? Aye. Does it work like the planet? Sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Well, the thing that worries me is... He's coming. Bit... Get back from that window. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ, it's McElroy! Come out! With your hands above your heads. Any attempt to run, I'll shoot. Come out with your hands above your heads. Anything else, I'll shoot. I'll make a run for it. I'm not hitting you with a handgun. Go on, run and wave. I'll do a first step here, come on. Fast as you can. I'm army, but it won't help you if you miss me. Oh, Jesus. Don't worry, Frankie, I'd see you right. Come on, quick. Straight over. I can't. Straight over! Overtake. We'll be killed! Overtake! Frankie, you're at the hospital. You'll be in there in a minute. I'm going now. You'll all be okay. You're safe. You'll have to tell me. Straight over. Yes, thank you. Landlady says his name is McAvoy, right? Get Davidson on the line. You have one casualty on the scene, proper volunteer, and it's believed that another casualty had been driven away, right? And McAvoy into thin air. No, 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 there's nothing of a mystery. I think we need some coffee, hot and strong. Sir, Davidson for you, sir. Mr. Davidson, this is Colonel Frost. Your man is making things a little lively here. Back to the roundabout. That's two miles Do back. as I tell you! This will take us up past our dine. Our dine? Faster the bloody thing will go. Now, I appreciate your calling, Colonel. Goodbye. They've got to Harry. Tried to take him this morning. He shot one of them. Confirmed dead, probably another. He's out in that bloody place, running loose with a gun. Christ knows what he thinks he's at. And the bath from 41 has just come out of a house. Oh, looks a bit rough. I did their place good and proper, didn't I? I didn't get the old man, though. There he is. Pull over here.
That's him. That's Downs. So running. Here, have a squint yourself. Yeah, it's him. Is he short on sight? Oh, they didn't say. Get HQ on the radio, will you? He still looks like he's on that bloody marathon. Knackered he is. They came for you this morning. The know it all. It was that copper that shot you last night. Where are you going now? Home. It's finished, I'm going home. But they came for you this morning! They'll take you as soon as you walk through the front door. Oh, they'll put our man in just to get me. He fingered me. He shot the two boys when we went to get them this morning. Oh, it's no good running now. Look, 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 you're saying this because you're hurt. Look, the, the boys will get you out of here. Oh, I'm finishing it just like you said you would. Don't move. Don't try to run, go for your firearm. If you do, I'll shoot. Tell him he's got a revolver on Downs, will you? They want to know what he looks like. Like any other bloody plovel, this scruffy bastard. You're the Englishman that sent him to get me, eh? Walk towards me. You won't get out of here. Not with me on the end of your gun, you won't. Walk towards me. Scream. He would have known we had to get him. It's a test of wills, no way we could lose. Now, he would have known. No way we could afford to lose. Get that bloody walking away. I can get the bastard, can I, Dave? Take him out, Smithy. Murdering sod. Did you get him? A real bloody peach. <laughs> to die. And you understand that? Don't cry, Mommy said. They're not real. But Daddy was. And he's not here. Don't be bitter, Mommy said. They've hurt themselves much more. But they can walk and run. Daddy can't. Thank mm -hmm. you.